Hey guys, welcome into the Pucker Reborn channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Soviet AT Rifle Infantry in Call to Arms Gates of Hell. This guide is going to consist of the effectiveness of range, the effectiveness against light, medium, and heavy armored from all sides. And also we're going to be talking about where it's most effective between the early mid game with some tips and tricks at the very end. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting out, let's check out the AT infantry themselves. Uh, the thing to know right off the bat is that the infantry themselves are nothing special on the battlefield. They don't have any upgraded stats or change in variation compared to other units. They do, however, have uh, the their skill level here as three RPG, three rifle, and three pistol. Technically, this is considered a rifle. So there, there's that, but there's going to come a time where you're probably going to want to pick a rifle up. Uh, usually, I'll drop their pistol and pick up a rifle on the ground if if I'm thinking about it during the uh, during the battle. But uh, otherwise, just know that all the stats are the same, 50% mechanics, so they're going to be half as effective as like a, a tank crew or a mechanic. So keep that uh, at the forefront when you're when you're doing stuff. Next thing is going to be the actual rifle them, rifles themselves. Just keep in mind, guys, these are the same exact rifles. I know this one looks freaking ridiculous. This looks sweet, right? The only difference between these two rifles is this one has five rounds and the other has one per shot. So if I click on it here, all right, so as you can see down in the corner here, it's a PTRD-41. The other one is a PTRS. This, we're having all kinds of issues here. Let's zoom out, PTRS. So let's look at the schematics of both of these just so you can get a better understanding here. Again, they're the same, they're the same thing. They hold the 14.5 millimeter AT rounds. Uh, rate of fire is 29 RPMs, that's fine. Muzzle speed at uh, 709 is actually really good. Uh, health damage is 160, so you'd expect, almost expect this to be to be better than that. I'm, I'm a little surprised by that, but nonetheless. Uh, so magazine size one, reload, four seconds to reload. So mind you, it's a shot, reload, shot. Uh, and we'll, I'll show you that in a little bit here. The effective, or the max range is 120 meters, so it really doesn't have that far out range, just to keep that in mind. The distance that it does talk about is the 25, 50, and 100. In this guide, I'm going to show you those effective ranges against light, medium, and heavy armored vehicles. Penetration up close is 41. The 50, 39, uh, 100 meters is 36. The penetration, then, of course, the health damage is 151, 135, and 55. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Obviously, this thing has is better up close. What I can tell you is between 25 and 50 meters, you're definitely going to see this thing uh, have its shining moments. Uh, the range of accuracy, of course, there's going to be a wider spread, that cone that gets expanded as you farther go out. So, uh, you'll be able to see that through 100 meters as well. And so let's kind of give a look at the other rifle here. So again, <clears throat> just about the exact same thing. You have a little more health damage to this re weapon itself. Uh, DPS is three higher, which... Like I said, very little, very little changes. The same rounds, 14.5 millimeter rounds. The muzzle speed's exactly the same. Magazine is a five, four second reload. So now you're not taking shot, four seconds. Shot, four seconds. This is clearly gonna be the, the upgrade. But yeah, the next thing, the same ranges. Everything is exactly the same in terms of the damage table. I'll leave it there for just a second. But yeah, ultimately, <clears throat> your goal is going to get to this rifle as quickly as possible. Uh, the way to do that is you're going to want to go in and get this uh, AT rifle squad. If I go to the tech tree, I'll scroll down real quick here and show you. All right. So the actual rifle squad themselves, is, AT rifle squad is right here. So you're going to be investing from the start, you're going to be investing, I believe this is two, could be a one. I can't remember offhand, but it's either two or one. So you're either going to be investing four points or you're going to be investing five. 
The AT rifle squad may not seem like much, but it does come with some decent decent guys and a lot of ammo to go through with the guys on the end here. So a total of seven guys, two guys with the, the just the little AT rifles and one with the big. You have this pack of guys. If you have these guys and you're out on the battlefield, you'll be able to do some nasty work, especially uh, early to mid. These are going to be the vehicles that we're going against today with the AT rifle and all of these vehicles are going to be the sets that you'll see between the early to mid game because later on you do end up getting bazookas and so on and uh, they become kind of obsolete. We'll go over that in a little bit but let's test this thing out. So the first test is going to be the 221. We're going to have the 100 meter, 50 meter, and 25 meters that are already set up. The other thing too you need to know is that every shot that we take is going to be taken from the PTRD 41. So yeah, when you're ready, tank, go ahead and take the first shot at the 100 meter. Fire. Try it again. Did it end up missing? It missed again. <laughs> There we go. All right, there we go. Ended up turning yellow. We had a shocked crew. Go ahead with the 50. Okay, that one actually is a little more yellow. You did kill the driver, and uh, the crew is shocked. And then finally, 25. All right. So that one ended up shocking the crew. Uh, still ended up doing the same amount of damage. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now the 221. Go ahead. What? This is gonna be disgusting. Driver killed three pretty much. All right. Oh, that was a miss. Actually, it ricocheted into the into the truck. <laughs> I can't even click on it. He destroyed it really quickly. Nice. Next truck is going to be the 231, which is another medi it's it's technically a light vehicle. So uh, yeah, let's give that one a shot. Tank, when you're ready. Fire! Uh, it's off the ground, sorry, buddy. My si uh, sniper's had a few too many shots today. And by shots, I mean alcohol. There we go. Okay, that one, uh, try one more. I think that one skid off it. I don't think that one hit. There you go. Okay, that one was a little lower, ended up uh, shocking the crew. Let's go with uh, the next one up, the 50. That one bounced right off the front of the truck. Try again. All right, that one killed the gunner, ended up shocking the the crew inside and then finally the 25 okay and shocked crew what? tires are gone the hull is now oof pretty good there it goes all gone all five all five the driver's already killed Oh, it's like clipping. Wow, it's actually clipping off the back. That This actually survived. All it did was kill the driver. Next up is the light tank Panzer 1 Ossip B. This tank is really minuscule. You'll see this probably on the first mission even. So why don't we give this one a shot here. Tank, when you're ready, hit the 100. What? Okay, that actually did quite a bit of damage to the track. Uh, not quite enough to break it. Okay, the 50. That one ricocheted off. Ricocheted again. Man. Holy cow. <laughs> that tough cookie. There we go. Uh, that almost destroyed the engine and did a lot of damage, mid damage to the hull. So uh, that was pretty dang good. That was a good shot. Shocked the crew as well. Go ahead on the 25. Hey. All right. That commander is dead. Crew shocked. And we ended up having... Looks like the front gears on the tank were, were hit pretty bad, actually destroyed it. And then also you have the, the engine pretty damaged, so. Wow.
Oof. That round did go in the dirt. Yeah. Well, both tracks are gone, and the hull is now broken. That was dangerous. To be expected, but very good. So, technically four shots. Oof. Yeah, I just ate him. One more shot might... Oh, didn't quite blow up. This is the Panzer Jager 1. And uh, this is still considered more of a light tank, but it has a lot of uh, firepower to it. Go ahead, tank, when you're ready on the 100. Why out. Okay, shocked crew. Okay, that took out the front. And the hull's damage, and now the engine's damage. Perfect. Three shocked crew. Uh, there was more to be expected. Again, really light armor in the front. Next, we are going to be starting to take three shots at a time, just so you guys do know, just because these next tanks are going to be heavier. And we switch to the semi-automatic with the five uh, the five rounds. So. The PTRS-41. Perfect. All right, go ahead with the 50. Okay, took out the, or took damage on the hull. Hull got worse. And now the front is dam or completely destroyed, and you have the engine feeling it. Also, the driver ended up dying. And go ahead with the 25. Driver killed. Even the ricochet did some damage. And the ricochet again. All right. It's a shock <laughs> crew. A lot of lot of ricocheting going on with that. But uh, pretty pretty consistent at all ranges. Uh, the thing I've noticed now that we're going to get into the heavier tanks or mid to heavy is that all of these tanks here, they're about 25. I think the front armor at the max is 25. So this was at 15. These guys all have 15 front armor, and they all took some pretty decent damage. So Shock troop almost took out the track. Track is gone. Oh man. Hoof gone. Yeah, that's to be expected with this one. It's so light armor. Oh, he actually damaged the front. It shot all the way through. <laughs> Killed the driver. Oh, the one. The last shot actually went right past the dude's head and through the little hole in the. <laughs> That was pretty wild. Now we're on to the Panzer 38T. This is uh, the next step up in terms of a tank. Whenever you're ready, let's hit the 100. Fire! Let me know That's if that... Come that on, looked like a hit. Let me tr go ahead and try it again. Uh, fire? Yep, that one hit. Okay, that one... Uh, I'm assuming that a, three of those attacks actually did hit, so that was a... Non confirmation on damage, unfortunately. Let's try the 50. Yeah. Go again. And try one more. Okay. Uh, that confirmed no damage as well. 25 meters. Two more shots. Throwing potatoes at these Germans. Jeez. <laughs> right. All right, and that confirmed no, uh, no recorded damage, even that close, and th yeah, that was kind of rough. <laughs> okay, that was good hole damage. It actually took out part of the last, the backside track, the hole in the back. Was that all five shots? Man, that no. Okay. Oh, I just missed one. And that's my there last one. All right, the hole is destroyed. Every they have to exit the freaking tank. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, driver dead already. Shot. <laughs> Back. Uh, engine's broken. Hull's broken. Crew shocked. Yeah, Five you messed rounds. them up. They they're forced to get out. Next is going to be the Panzer 3J. So tank, when you're ready, take those three shots. Try one more. Okay. No damage. The next will be the 50. Okay. 
This one actually did damage to the barrel. That was pretty light, but it still did damage to that. So that was pretty good. All right, now let's try 25. Huh. That one sounded good. That middle, the, the second shot actually made quite a noise, but no damage really. If you hit the turret, or not the turret, but the actual cannon itself, you can do a little bit of damage. Wow. Ooh, that actually went into the hole. More hole damage. A little more damage to the side. Okay, the track's gone. Nice. Solid damage. Surprisingly, it actually went through to the hole first. It went right between the gears, so very oh, good. Oh, man. It's a beast tank. <laughs> no, it's not doing anything. That's surprising. Next is going to be the Stug 3B. So we'll see how this goes. I don't, I'm not anticipating much in terms of damage, but just for the sake of trying this theory out, let's, uh, let's take those shots. So go ahead with 100. What? One more. Okay, that was none. Go ahead with 50. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Okay, nothing again. Nothing as expected. Fire. Wow. Orange, red, the track is now out. And now the hole is yellow. Nice. Five rounds. Five rounds, broken track. Very good. It's close. Uh, same exact thing. Engine completely red. Just about to start a fire. That's really, that's really good. That's what you want to see on the backside. Second to last is going to be the Stull G33. Go ahead with a 100 shot. Wow. Yeah, as expected, it's really not doing much. Go ahead with uh, 50. Now, this may be to be expected, guys, but it's just to reiterate how strong these weapons are. Because you will see them in the late game as well, not as frequent. Go ahead with 25. But we're going to show where it's mostly effective. Pulling that trigger. <laughs> Not stop. <laughs> All right, perfect. No damage. Ah. Yellow, red, or orange, red. The track is now broken, and now you're actually getting into the hole. All right, five that was rounds. a full, full five rounds. That was much more impressive. Nice. So you broke the engine, didn't quite make it uh, start on fire. If you if that last shot didn't ricochet up after hitting, that might have started a fire and probably would have ended right. the tank altogether. The final tank is going to be the Panzer 556. And I will say again, I don't expect any damage to be done here. But uh, tank, go ahead at the 100. Okay, go ahead with the 50. Oh, that was a nice ricochet. Oh, there's another one. Okay, go ahead with the 25. Probably could have angled that one a little better myself, but all right, perfect. Yep, no damage, just as we suspected. Wow. Okay. That actually, surprising, surprisingly, uh, that did end up taking, it made both tracks yellow. So that's very encouraging for such a big tank. Hmm. That's a, a lot of ricocheting. Tank. Yeah, that's a tough tank on the back side there. That's pretty impressive.
So well, the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is going to be understanding the movement of where the soldiers are all coming from, where the tanks are going to be coming from, and the importance of roads. I've, I've talked about this in some of my other guides already, is that vehicles will automatically by default go for roads because they can get to top speed and get to wherever they need to go quickly. Now, if you have an engineer, you can block the roads and stuff and cause a new filtering point that can that can help you uh, use these guys, which I'll, I'll show you later on. But for now, just keep in mind, all these tanks keep coming in right through this road. And as you can see, like I've already taken them down, it's like a choke point essentially. And pretty much the tanks have died in a way that's now blocking off their entry this way. All of my uh, soldier, my rifle squad, or this AT squad rather, all of them are set up right over here. So if something happens where there's a tank coming down the road, I can run out. I have this uh, free view. Bang. Just like that. So just keep that in mind as you guys are playing this. Try to find your choke point. Find a place where you can hold up and be ready to take on the enemy. We got a situation where I can get uh, hopefully a decent shot on this tank over here. I tried a second ago, but we just stayed through. They actually threw the smoke. Oh crap, there's a whole squad right there. It's gonna make this a little more difficult. Now, I'm pretty dang close, and we're in close quarters being all the city and stuff. I think I'll be able to get a good shot on him on the backside. Let's just try real quick here. Okay, I think I destroyed the engine. Let's get him to heal himself real quick. Keep an eye on soldiers. Yeah, the engine, I think... It's definitely almost destroyed if it's not already. Maybe if I can get this thing to start on fire. But these guys are going to make a move on me, so I'm probably going to have to make a sacrificial here. Oh, that was a late shot. Okay, engine's on fire. They're going to have to evacuate now. Let's get this guy back with my other soldiers. Whew, all right. Okay, so that is a situation where you're able to take out these tanks. Uh, that, of course, if you if you know this game well enough, you know that that's a really easy. That was a really easy uh, tank to destroy. And obviously, it's hitting in the back. It took three shots to actually blow up the engine. Uh, otherwise, I don't. I think I destroyed the engine. They just weren't able to move. This is going to be our next victim right here. It's going to be the let's see here, the 250. Should be carrying a few units. Now, the way I'm kind of figuring it right now is that they're going to come down this alleyway kind of like the machine gun did down here. So we'll grab this soldier. I think what I want to do is I'm going to pick up his rifle. Just because the reality of this is, guys, is this rifle is just so much better. Uh, you get, With the five shots, it's... Oops, it's way better. Have him reload it. Just need him to get a little bit closer. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in this. Let's keep an eye out. They do have something else coming. Oh, just another pack. Okay, here he comes. Could be good. So I believe that that's within the range that we're looking for. Unfortunately, it does have a gun on the front, so. Okay, shocking him. You can tell just by how the guns, or how the thing's moving. Okay, and truck is down. All right, they should be getting out. Perfect, they did. All right, abandoning the vehicle, and there you go. It did take two shots, I think, really did do a number on him. Now we got our starting. tank coming down the road here. Let's get our guy ready again. I'll go with one. Try not to get this caught up again here. Docked him. Okay, and they're out. Two shots. 
They abandoned the vehicle. Oh, they did end up getting back into the vehicle, so there's that. Need to be careful of this, so we'll add the one again. See if that doesn't make him get out. Or it's not looking at us. Okay, that, that'll do it. In fact, it ended up killing one of the guys inside. Let's go up here real quick. They took out that. So this is another really nice spot. <laughs> Getting them up here. Uh, if there is something coming down, but everything's been taken care of. But there you go. So again, you don't have to be terribly close. Just kind of have a point. Take your side steps in and out. Take shots on them and you'll have a bunch of tanks and stuff. That's how I ended up taking this one over here, obviously. So... My final thoughts on the AT Soviet Rifle uh, Infantry is simply, it's a really good early to mid game rifle, especially the second tier, the RS, which comes with five extra shots. It's, I, I gotta just say, it's not bad to have the rifleman on your side or the AT rifle, the first one, that only takes a shot, then four second reload, then another shot. It's really nice, don't get me wrong, but it there's something special about having five shots and honestly most things that you're going to take on that you're going to destroy is going to take three to five shots and if you get to like the, the the higher mid tanks to the the high-end tanks or the heavy tanks rather you're you're going to want to take out their tracks and that's where they're going to shine the most now believe it or not the best strategy that i've come up with the this infantry for the soviets is to take on the side of the actual tank as you saw in the range test there was a lot of mm, not so great of shots when you came to the back end of the tank which most people would assume you shoot the back of a tank that's the last armor makes sense but there's a lot of like divots and so on you find that the shells are ricocheting and even when you are hitting them either you are taking out the back of the the engine or you're doing some hull damage that's all great and that's fine and dandy but keep in mind that taking out a track of a tank can ju just immobilizing a tank can be a win, uh, especially when it comes to using smoke. You use smoke, go up with an AT grenade, throw it in there. It's over. Uh, no problem. And especially Soviets early on, their AT grenades are actually Molotovs. So you throw that on there, burn them out. Perfect. Uh, as you saw, one of the strategies that I like to do is come out of cover and back into cover and so on and take those shots. Uh, keep in mind, these tanks are going to be constantly turning towards you. You know, there's a lot of tanks that the Germans have where they can't turn their head. It's literally just a front focus. Those tanks are going to be just gravy for you to keep popping shots into. Uh, another thing is one of the big strategies is grabbing weapons off the ground. You're going to want to utilize that as well because they are not very, uh, they're not very good on their own with just a revolver to have to shoot things. Some of the strategies that I like to also use are taking the squad. Mind, mind you, again, it's the, it's the actual uh, AT rifle squad that you want to have because they do come with enough ammo. They come with the, even though there's two guys that have just the single shot rifles, to have those guys just hammering down on a tank is massively important. I know that the, the videos that you also saw were in town. If you're in the forest and stuff, even more power to you. You can get them in bushes, just waiting, find a choke point, use roads to understand where the vehicles are coming from. Don't get me wrong, they do come through the forest but it's usually where the you know any AI is going to use the tracking and to a point where going off road is the fastest. Also, uh, when you're facing artillery, artillery is not the you know the AT rifles are just not the right rifles to be taking on artillery. Don't get me wrong, you can do damage to the actual artillery itself. But it's just not effective. Uh, the artillery will turn, shoot you, it'll be done and over with. You're gonna want to use snipers or riflemen for those those categories or smoke to run in with a with a grenade to take them out. So don't don't get cute with it because it will get you killed. I've tried it many times. Just it just doesn't work. Besides that, I guess the the final thought with this is it's it's a pretty fair unit. And in the right hands and understanding how to deploy an own little squad to take on tanks, you can really control a battlefield. 
and I, I really do hope you guys do find this to be an effective strategy. I won't take up any more your time. It stinks that these videos are taking as long as they are, but there's some good information here, and I hope, I like I said, I hope that you guys can utilize it in your own strategy. So, besides that, if you could do me a favor, please uh, hit that like. Uh, maybe comment in the comment section below, guys. It helps other people come to see this video. The number one goal I have for all this stuff is so that you guys feel confident in what you're doing in this game and also so that we can get more people in this community because I personally believe this is the best RTS out there for World War II games. Uh, besides that, thanks for coming out, checking all this stuff out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!